Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going from my big, curly, fluffy hair to sleek, straight hair. Now, this is something that I haven't done in years. I literally have not straightened my hair in two, three, close to four years. I don't, it's around that time frame. But it's just something I really wanted to try out. I've been in a mood to just straighten my hair and see how it looks straight because I haven't done it in years and I've been so consistent with taking care of my curly hair and just making sure that it is the best it can look but now I'm just like you know what let's switch it up let's have fun let's make it silky so I'm gonna show you guys how I achieve that without any frizz and without any damage onto my curls so we're just gonna jump right into it because I did just wash my hair and it's still wet so I want it to like be easier to work with so I'm gonna take this off and I haven't combed it through yet when I washed my hair I washed it like normal I just didn't do like a deep conditioner which the only reason why I didn't do a deep conditioner is because that like leaves more product into my hair and it leaves it like yes it leaves it moisturized but it's like more moisturized for when I'm doing curly hair rather than if I'm going to straighten it so that was the only thing different that I didn't do and I made sure to wash out all of the conditioner out my hair usually I like to leave in at least a little bit just to give that extra moisture to my hair that I need but this time I didn't it is completely clean and completely fresh so I just wanted to comb through it first make sure I don't have any knots in it and the first thing that I'm going to go do is blow dry my hair we need to blow out all these curls even though when my hair is wet it's a little more wavy but still we need to blow this all out and we're gonna come back and have like a big lion's mane going on so the blow dryer that i use i'm just using this regular one from revlon if i did this on the regular i would probably have one of those like blow dryer brush things that like you just brush through and bam your hair is blow dried looking like it came out straight out of the salon but i do not so we're gonna go in with my good old Revlon that I use to diffuse my hair every day. But of course, we want our hair to be protected, so I'm gonna go in with a heat protectant. This one is from Tresemme. It's a platinum strength straightening heat protectant spray. It's just what my mom uses, so she straightens her hair way more than me. So I'm just gonna take this and just spray my hair all over make sure our hair is protected because when you are going from like curly to straight it can be very damaging and very drying on your hair so you just want to make sure you are protected against the heat so I'm gonna part my hair down the middle you could do this with a comb but I'm just gonna take my nail because it makes my life easier I got these nails, might as well use them, you know? I'm just gonna section my hair off into four sections, so we'll leave this side first. Just clip this away. And then this side, we'll break this off into two separate sections here. So I'm gonna take this round brush here to help blow out my hair and this is just gonna make the process a little bit faster I'm not doing this neatly or whatever like we're literally just blowing out the curls and just doing like the first process of getting it nice and silky All right, so we have one side all blown out. It's very thick, but at least we got all the curls out. So this is what my hair typically looks like if I just blow it out, not fully straightening it. It is very, very thick. So weird because I haven't done this in so long. So just to see it, I'm like, oh my gosh. Wow, I feel like a brand new person already. Ugh. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go in and finish the rest of this, do this side, and then we'll be back with fully big lion's mane hair, and then I'll show you guys how to really slick it down and smooth it out. So here is my hair all blown out. Oh my goodness. I haven't seen it look like this in so long. Oh, I'm not used to it. Not used to it at all. Oh, I'm sorry. I just had like a full-on sneezing attack. I need a break. Hold on. <sighs> For the next part, this is when we're going to go in with the flat iron. So the only one that I have is this little Revlon one. Honestly, I don't know how long I've had this, but it's been years, like years 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 that i've had this little flat iron here and obviously i haven't used it in years too so this little thing i hope it still works really good but what we're gonna do is section off the hair now so we're gonna go back in and section it in the middle because i want a middle part i'm gonna hold this part off to the side and i'm gonna work on this part first but i'm gonna go in with like little pieces to focus on so we're gonna take a piece probably like that thick and then I'm gonna section off the rest of this and to get it nice and silky we're gonna use like a thick bristle brush this is just my normal brush that you guys see me use to like slick down my hair and that gets it super slick and shiny and nice so we're gonna do the same thing here so I'm gonna brush my hair out with this first and then we're gonna hold it there and then take the flat iron and then just follow it through. Oh, that is so scary for me because I haven't done that in literally like three years. My hair hasn't been straightened. And there we go. A nice little silky, perfect piece. And one thing I forgot to mention when I was blow drying my hair is that you really want to make sure that your roots are blow dried and straightened out because it makes it easier for when you do go in with the flat iron that you're not all up in your roots and close to like burning your head so it's just easier to get it done with the blow dryer make sure all the curls are out of the roots and that the roots are perfectly dry because honestly the last thing you want to hear when you're flat ironing is the little sizzle 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 that happens because that means your hair is still wet and you are about to like kill your strands and completely damage them if you are going in with a flat iron onto the wet hair. So let's go and do the rest of this head. I'm just gonna speed this up because, I don't know, from my memory the last time that I've done this, it took like an hour to completely straighten my hair. So let's do this thing. Parts of my hair are like completely virgin too, like definitely back here it's virgin, there's parts up here that you guys can tell that like my highlights kind of start down here because they're so grown out, so from here to here this is completely virgin hair, never been dyed, never been straightened, but that's changing today, it's gonna get some heat on it. Okay, so I'm on the last part here, just to flatten out. This took me about 40 minutes to do the whole head, so like 20 minutes on each side, which isn't bad at all. I thought it was going to be way longer, but this is the final piece. Oh, it's crazy. I haven't seen my hair look like this in years. And here we go. This is it. Here is my hair fully straightened. I feel like I look so weird. Oh my gosh, I keep looking into the mirror like this doesn't even look like me. But here it is. It's nice and silky. It's nice and straight. It's super long. Which the length is something I already knew because of when my hair is curly and I'm just like combing it out. Or I'm in the shower. Like I can feel how long my hair is. But just to actually see it. Ugh. 
This is crazy. It's literally so soft too, which I love. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and got some tips and tricks on how to straighten your curly hair without getting any frizz, having this nice shine to it, and just doing it in a safe way so that your hair isn't going to get damaged. So if you guys want to see more hair videos, more beauty videos, all of that, be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you are not subscribed yet, you made it to the end of the video, just hit that subscribe button. I upload twice a week on Mondays and Thursdays, just so you guys know, and hit that notification bell so you do know every time I upload and what times that I upload. I'm not gonna be able to stop touching my hair. It just feels so weird. It's been so long. But I will see you all in my next video.